Just a quick note on hard drives before we actually begin. Um, buy yourself a very good external Firewire hard drive. So a Firewire 800 hard drive. It will be much faster than USB. Now this is the actual hard drive I use. It's a Western Digital My Passport Studio drive. Um, although it has the labels, forget all that fancy stuff. The only reason why I actually use this is because you've got your Firewire 800 connection as well as USB. Firewire 800 is going to perform much faster than USB when you're not only creating your backups or restoring your backups, but if you ever need to actually boot off of the drive, and we'll talk about booting off of the drive later on in this video. But if you're lucky to have a Thunderbolt enabled Mac, get yourself a Thunderbolt driver, it will be even faster. If not, do what I've done and get yourself a good, reliable Firewire 800 external hard drive. Okay, so what we're going to do now is have a look at the actual software side, super duper. Now you can download this from anywhere. If I open Safari here, um, quick search for Mac super duper brings up a few results here where you can download from. It's only a small program, so it shouldn't take too long to download at all. Once we have it downloaded, I have the program running here. This is what we get. Now this is an unregistered copy, but it does everything you really need to. Um, you can register your copy and pay for the more advanced version for a few extra options. But I've always found that this does everything I need it to do. Now we're copying from our internal Mac hard drive to an external drive. So I've got my external drive connected here and I've got my latest image is here, although that's a bit out of date. But So my latest image is there. Um, we're backing up all files. So what's going to happen? Um, sorry, this has just enabled itself. So we can back up all files, user files, restore files or create sandboxes. Um, we can create schedules. So if we go into schedule, we can actually create a schedule. So have it running automatically overnight, for example, and back up everything. If we cancel out of that. So that's running on a schedule. We've got our options here. Now, we can repair permissions on your Mac hard drive uh, before the actual copy runs. And then you've got a couple of options in here on erasing your image before it creates the new image. Um, also, these two bottom ones will speed up the image process greatly. So if you've already created an image and you only want to update that image, you can either copy the newer files or just copy files that have been changed or files that are different between your previous image and your most up-to-date files on the Mac hard drive. So that will greatly increase the speed of your backup. And then on completion, you can set it to restart the system, shut down the system, uh, quit the program, and so on. If we go into advanced here, we've got a few more advanced options. Again, you don't really need to touch many of these. So if I click OK to that, after a, a little bit of thinking, that should bring us back to the main menu. Bear in mind you want to use Firewire drives for these, as I said earlier on, because the speed is much faster. And that's all there is to it. You hit the copy now button, it will ask you for your password. You click, so you put your password in, click OK, and there we go, it will start the copy process. Now I don't really want to create an image just now, so I'll cancel that for the moment. So bear in mind the image it will create on your external drive is bootable. So for example, if your internal drive here was to fail completely, you could order yourself a new drive and then boot off of your external hard drive in the meantime and carry on as though it would treat your external hard drive as though it was the hard drive within your system. It will be slightly slower but you'll get everything up as though you're, you've got a fully functioning system. If you are upgrading your hard drive you'll put your new hard drive back in inside the computer, you would boot off of your image and then copy everything from your image back across to your internal hard drive and that's how you would upgrade your hard drive or replace your hard drive. It's very simple and easy to do. Now if I quit SuperDuper and we go into Finder here, we can see that here's my internal hard drive. If I go to my image, there we go, it looks exactly like my internal hard drive. So if for example I only wanted to restore a single file, say there was a file in my documents I wanted to, I've accidentally deleted, I want to restore, I could easily just browse into it from here, go into my documents, copy and paste the file straight back across. So you can 
be have a selective restore and just copy and paste everything you need back across or you can restore the entire disk by booting off of it and using SuperDuper to clone everything back across. So that's the end of this video here, SuperDuper, very small uh, cloning piece of software, excellent overall, very easy to use with uh, every, all the features you actually need. Highly recommended, very important to keep backups as you probably already know and it's an excellent way of either scheduling or maintaining manual backups.